Imagine for a moment the solar system. Think of the vastness between us and Neptune. That lonely frozen blue giant orbits 30 times further from the sun than we do, and it takes light itself four hours to cross that distance. It is a scale that the human mind struggles to comprehend. Now take that distance from the sun to Neptune and multiply it, not by ten, not by a hundred, multiply it by 40,000. If you were to replace our sun with the object known as Ton 618, the event horizon, the point of no return, would not just swallow the Earth or Neptune, it would extend 194 billion kilometers into the void. This is not just a black hole, it is a gravitational anomaly that defies the laws of cosmic evolution. It is 66 billion times the mass of our Sun. To put that in perspective, the total stellar mass of our entire Milky Way galaxy, every star you have ever seen in the night sky combined, is only 64 billion solar masses. This single shadow weighs more than our entire galaxy of stars. It was born in an era when the universe was too young to create monsters, eating matter at speeds that challenge the limits of physics. It is the largest single object ever discovered by humanity, and according to our current models of the universe, it simply shouldn't exist. The story of this monster begins innocuously with a plate of glass and a chilly night in Mexico. On February 9, 1957, at the Tonanzintla Observatory, astronomers were conducting a survey of faint blue stars. Using a Schmidt telescope, they captured thousands of tiny points of light on photographic plates, marking entry number 618. For decades, it remained just a number in a catalog a curiosity thought to be a faint white dwarf. But the light can be deceiving. When astronomers later analyzed the spectrum of light coming from Ton 618, they found something disturbing. The light was stretched, shifted dramatically toward the red end of the spectrum. They measured a redshift of 2.219, meaning the light hitting those glass plates had been traveling for 10.8 billion years. This places the object in a universe that was only roughly 3 billion years old, a toddler universe, a time of chaotic formation where galaxies were small and messy. Yet when astronomers calculated the luminosity required to be seen from such a staggering distance, the math returned a result that bordered on insanity. This object is hyperluminous, shining with the brightness of 140 trillion suns. If Ton 618 were placed at the center of the Milky Way, it would outshine every star in the galaxy combined by a factor of 2,000. We realized then that we weren't looking at a star. We were looking at the feeding frenzy of a supermassive black hole. But as we crunched the numbers on its mass, the horror set in. In the early universe, black holes are supposed to be small seeds, yet Ton 618 was already a full-grown titan. In our current understanding of astrophysics, black holes have a speed limit to their eating known as the Eddington Limit. As gas falls toward a black hole, it heats up and glows, creating outward pressure that should blow excess food away. This limit dictates how fast a black hole can grow over time. 
NASA identifies TON-618 as the most massive black hole ever observed. But at 66 billion solar masses, it creates a paradox. Even if you started with a large seed shortly after the Big Bang, and it ate at the absolute maximum speed allowed by physics for three billion years straight, there simply wasn't enough time for it to get this big. This has forced cosmologists to propose direct collapse theories, suggesting massive clouds of gas in the early universe didn't break down into stars, but collapsed instantaneously into massive black holes. But even this theory struggles to explain 66 billion solar masses. Remember, the Milky Way contains a hundred billion stars, nebulae, and dust, yet Ton 618 exceeds that mass alone. It is a single object that outweighs a galaxy, and it is not sleeping. Emission lines reveal that gas is falling into this abyss at 7,000 kilometers per second creating gravitational forces so intense they question our standard models of accretion disk dynamics. To hold on to gas orbiting at speeds up to 10,500 kilometers per second, the gravity must be absolute. It is a drain in the bottom of the universe and we don't know who pulled the plug. If the black hole is the monster, then what lies around it is the monster's lair. In 2021, observations using the ALMA radio telescope array revealed a nebula of staggering proportions surrounding Ton 618. Known as a Lyman Alpha blob, this massive concentration of gas spans 100 kiloparsecs, roughly 330,000 light years across. While the Milky Way is about 100,000 light-years wide, the gas cloud breathing around Ton 618 is more than three times the diameter of our galaxy. It is a kingdom of superheated gas, comprising two distinct components aligned perfectly with the black hole's radio jet. This structure baffles galaxy evolution models while the radiation from the central quasar explains some of the glow, the excitation mechanism remains partially unexplained. Some hypotheses suggest that Ton 618 is a super lab, a missing link connecting ultramassive black holes with the distribution of dark matter in the early universe. We may be looking at the visible spine of the cosmic web, a node where dark matter pooled in such concentration that it broke the universe. Because Ton 618 is 18.2 billion light-years away in co-moving distance, we are seeing it as a fossil. We do not know what it looks like today. Did it consume its entire host galaxy, or did it starve, fading into a silent, invisible giant lurking in the dark. To stand at the edge of Ton 618 is to stand at the edge of reason. The event horizon spans 1300 astronomical units. If you were floating there, the curvature would be so slight it would look like a flat wall of darkness extending to infinity. Here, time dilation is absolute. A minute for you would be eons for the rest of the universe. Ton 618 reminds us that the universe is not designed for us, nor is it scaled to our understanding. It challenges our physics, mocks our timelines, and exists as a monument to the unknown forces that shaped the dawn of time. If there is one Ton 618, there must be others, silent monsters lurking in the voids. For more deep dives into the cosmos and the paradoxes that define it, stay tuned to Space Flux Hub. Until then, 
Keep watching the dark.